Alright guys, so I've got a new update for you on the Kraken today. What we've done is we've rolled out a final version of the Kraken. And I'm really excited to reveal this to you. As you can see right here on the screen, I have an actual uh, snapshot of what the Kraken looked like before. And uh, I'm going to minimize this in just a second. I'm sure you've been inside the tool, you know what the tool looks like. And perhaps some of those that are uh, just watching this on YouTube have no idea what the Kraken is or why it looked like this or whatnot. Okay, so the Kraken's a great CTR tool. Uh, the foremost best CTR tool out on the internet at this time, and I'm um, definitely going to stay ahead of all of my competition out there because there's plenty of competition, plenty of people are trying to do what we do, but they're nowhere close. So this is a great CTR cloud uh, CTR tool here. And uh, anyways, major, major update today. So let me go ahead without further ado and drop this down and show you all of the great changes that we put in here alright so here we go this is what the Kraken now looks like yes there are still a few typos in here just gotta have my team go through and make a couple of additional changes here like dashboard but uh, you can see our little Kraken logo up here which is awesome the color blue like the ocean and uh, little tentacles coming up, which is really, really neat. Uh, right on the main page here, we have uh, daily traffic, new graphs in here, overall traffic. Then you can see your campaigns. You can come in like you did before, and you can edit your campaigns here. You can see when things are completed, when they're running, how many views we have, what the category is, the name. Uh, <laughs> she thinks I'm a L here. And uh, that's really funny. Drunk as a skunk, Jerry Demo, dental pain. Wow, good stuff. All right, you can see when I created them, when I set these up in here, uh, you can shuffle between the pages. You can come in and click edit, and it will show you everything in here. Okay, first things first, let's go back to dashboard, and let's do create a campaign. So one of the big things that we changed on this update is we've made it simpler. We've tried to make it easier for everybody that comes in and uses the tool. Uh, so we simplified setting up your campaign. Uh, you can put in your campaign name, your category. So let's say we do, um, we're gonna call this one nine inch Nels. And you may be thinking, what in the world, Michael? Uh, music category, and uh, for this one, we're gonna do, let's say 250 views, okay. So if you're wondering Nine Inch Nails, why am I listening to Nine Inch Nails? Well, I uh, was looking at, uh, listening, I should say, to YouTube today, and I saw uh, Johnny, um, oh gosh, what is his last name? I can't even think of the name right now. Uh, anyways, uh, with the song Hurt. Oh, there we go, Johnny Cash, my bad. All right, Johnny Cash, Hurt, and, uh, you know, I saw... They based it on Nine Inch Nails song Hurt, so I had to go look it up today, and I was like, oh, cool. It's actually a pretty good uh, version of Nine Inch Nails. Never never really listened to them, anything like that. Anyways, anyways, that's what that is. That's why I'm listening to it. So here on the campaign, you can see uh, you can put in individual days if you want. Run it for one day if you want to do that. You can drop it down. Uh, we have preset days in here, seven days, 14 days. Now look at that. That's interesting. I'm going to have to see about that one right there. So let's say we go back to zero. Put in 14 days, uh, 28 days. See, so you can click it. You have 42 days, 56 days. Uh, programmers are slick as snow. Got to love it. All right, seven days, 14 days, 21 days, 30 days, or advanced. And on advanced, you can really chew it down here by setting up a time that you want it to go in. But before it was mandatory, you had to put in from 8 a, you know, 12 o'clock at night or 12.01 in the morning until 11.59 at night. And I know that was annoying. That took time for people. So instead of doing that, you could say, okay, I want to set up a campaign for 30 days and it's going to automatically be set to run 24 hours a day. Okay, unless you click on advance and change it here. Uh, the next thing that you do is you can come down into your command list here and... Let me just clear this out. Okay, so you come down into your command list and now you can set up your campaign. So you could say, okay, one thing that is changed in here, just real quick, 
is we used to have social viper within here within the commands list but uh, the programmers separated that so they make it a separate campaign within here and we'll go over that in just a second but let's say we do create campaign for this we're going to do Google Google image search actually let me go back to browser we're going to change the location and this is pretty cool here so let's say we go down and we put it into uh, Washington DC okay so we're going to come on down to Manassas okay let's say we choose right here in this neighborhood and it automatically just by clicking it here it automatically changes it puts in your latitude longitude for you which is really really awesome before it didn't do that before you had to copy this you had to paste it in it, it was really annoying so now it automatically does it for you. So you're just click anywhere on the map that you want to do it, and then you can put in your radius, or you can set up multiple points. You could do add. Okay, let's do add. See what it's doing? Adding in the different points, add. And you can set up your own points here. You can set up your own radius, uh, add. And you can come up here and put in a label, uh, change. Uh, location change IP if you want to do that IP okay change IP so we'll do that we have this set up hit save boom okay change IP uh, the next thing that you would want to do in here is you could say referral sites okay you can add in multiple multiple referral sites if you want to these are sites you could set up like uh, your tier one links tier two links uh, client site links, things like that that you want the searches to look like they're originating from. Uh, that's an option that you could totally put in here, okay, if you wanted to. Uh, after you do change location, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go back and say, okay, on Google, let's do a Google search. Put in your command here, whatever you'd like to name it. So we'll do Google search. Keyword is going to be 9 inch Nels uh, Hurt, okay. Keyword input. Copy that in. Number of pages we want to search. Let's th say three pages of Google. Click save. Okay, command added. Now it's going to change your IP address. It's going to do your Google search. Okay, once it comes in, you can then tell it on the website. We want it to, let's see here, read on the website. Let's go back to browser. We want it to wait for about two minutes here. Uh, click save okay so actually let's move that around we're going to tell it to wait two minutes we want it to read so it's going to scroll on this page uh, for two minutes we want it to also screenshot okay once we do screenshot we're going to go back and tell it to find and follow a link on here which let me see if they have a link nope they don't have a link in the description well, let's just imagine that they did have a link in the description and it happened to be this link. We could tell it to find and follow this link. Once it ends up on that link, let's say that there's an embed on it, we want it to watch the embedded video. Uh, once it's on that website, we want it to read on the website. We want to go back to browser and say, I want it to wait uh, four minutes on this particular page. Let's go ahead and close that. And what we'll do is we'll change this around again. We'll say, okay, wait, read on website. Okay, so we have these commands set up. Let's say update price. All right, total is interesting. Interesting, doesn't look like they may not have put the price in yet. That's odd. Error, check if you provide all the data. Ah, okay. Hang on a second. Okay, so I had confused it there by setting up the calendar, just like I thought, when I had already chosen uh, 30 days. So, all right, there it is. It's off to the run. It's running right here. Nine Inch Nails music. Uh, I can click on my category here or right on my campaign. I can see everything that I set up in here. And I could come back in and make additional changes if I needed to. So it's Nine Inch Nails, category music, number of runs completed, zero. Uh, screenshot gallery will be right here. We can see all the commands that I set it up for and we're off to the races. The next thing that you can do in here that's changed 
is creating the social campaigns. And this is using the social Viper. So you could say, okay, I want to use both of these, put in your campaign name. And these are all social activity right in here. So you could say, okay, I want to get Twitter likes. And from Twitter likes, oh wait, did I click the wrong one there? Facebook post, okay. Twitter like, oh yeah, <laughs> looks like a little typo there, guys. That's all right, so full website. Looks like they copied it over. So that's not Facebook URL. That would definitely be Twitter likes. Uh, YouTube subscribe. Okay, so they've just got to update some of these things over here. Reddit, Twitch followers. Okie dokie. So I'll have to screenshot this right here. Instagram likes. Okay, all right. This is why we check things, right? So, um, anyways, it will it will be the right stuff here. Facebook, URL, Facebook, URL, TikTok, video likes. Okay, that's a good one. Pinterest followers, Instagram. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. All right, so anyways, you could put in your social likes in here, submit it, and it goes off to the races. Next thing is the keyword analyzer. This works great as well. So let's say um, air or let's do this heater repair uh, Manassas VA. Click add, calculate. Hmm. McLean. All right, just reach out to the programmers here and uh, let them know. I think they just have to update the uh, API within here on the keyword data analysis. But uh, other than that, you can see here it's already working on my traffic. So that campaign I set up for Nine Inch Nails, it's already gone up seven. Weekly campaigns traffic one, daily traffic one right here. All right, so we got number of views already coming in. That's great. Love to see this happening. Let's go ahead and click on that campaign. All right, there we go. Awesome. Awesome sauce, great. All right, so you can see a lot of changes. A lot of big updates have come into the tool here overall. Any type of notifications, you'll be getting them up here where the little bell option is. At the moment, we don't have any notifications. Uh, we'll be allowing people to add in profile pictures. We've got some really big and neat updates coming out in the future as part of the crack in here but i uh, just wanted to show you guys the changes and the updates and everything that we did within here it is awesome my uh, programmers i love them they do such a wonderful job so anyways just wanted to share this with you show you what uh what was happening and uh all the all the major updates and changes and all that good stuff all right cool all right guys thanks a lot cheers